Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Halloween is approaching. Today I'm dressed up as Chibi Moon, who is this um, character in the Sailor Moon series. Sailor Moon is a big part of my childhood. I always wanted to dress up as Sailor Moon for Halloween. The reason why I chose this look is because I was surfing Taobao uh, for Halloween costumes and the Sailor Moon costume is one of the cheapest there is. It was like only $9. So I've also actually included an easy buy link for the costume that I bought. When I was choosing among all the Sailor Moon characters, I just thought Chibi Moon would be the least effort because she already has pink hair. So today I did this look. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is to wear my contact lenses. I think her eyes are like red actually, but red is a bit scary lah. So there's no way anyone can look good with red eyes. So you just look like a zombie. Let's just use pink instead. Yay! Very anime. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to put my foundation on and I have with me here the new Urban Decay um, Cushion Compact. I've used it like one time before and I really like it. The packaging is really nice because it's like got holographic one. The good thing about Cushion Compacts right is that they are like kind of really light and it gives you this dewy dewy look lah. But the bad thing about it is that it takes a really long time to apply. Alright, got my base done. Ah shit, I wanted to use a primer but I forgot about it. You know what, I'm gonna try primer after foundation, see whether it works. Because I have the new Fenty Beauty primer here and it's supposed to be really good. Hey, it's not bad. I feel like it's like smoothing out my skin. So I'm gonna apply my second layer of foundation and I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty. They just gave it to me and it's in color 100. It's their soft matte long wear foundation. And I'm just gonna apply this where you usually would see a highlight, which is here. Even like a really small amount can cover quite a big area, so quite good. So she has this like brown thingy that's here. Oh my god, this eyeliner is really really good. Their new formula or something is just really good. I don't know how they did it, but it's very very opaque and super difficult to, to come off. So next I'm going to draw a little moon in the centre of it. Now I'm going to fill up this area with a gold colour and then the centre of it is white. For the gold colour, I am going to be using the Too Faced Glitter Bomb Palette. So they have this like really nice gold that I think is a good suitable colour. Here we go. I don't know what I'll be doing this Halloween but for the last few Halloweens, I think I just stayed home and like spend it with Dash. Like very few people organize Halloween parties and it's like I don't really know what the kids do because I know the adults go to like zoo. Where are the kids supposed to dress up? Are they supposed to go like treat, treat or treating because it's not really a tradition in Singapore. So it's kind of weird if you go and knock on people's houses like show everyone think you're damn weird lah. So I think that this colour is a little bit too rose gold so I'm gonna add a bit of uh, Trophy White from Fenty Beauty. So it's this really really nice shade of gold. See whether it's more shiny. Oh it is. Okay very nice. Okay, so now it's pretty shiny. That's nice, I should tattoo this on my head. So next, I'm gonna fill up the moon with a white colour and I'm using NYX's uh, white liquid liner. Next thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows. In the anime, she actually just has like eyebrows that are just one line black colour which will look awful. So today, I'm just gonna try to have eyebrows that match my hair. I'm just gonna do like pink colour eyebrows. First thing is to actually put pink mascara on my eyebrows and I'm using this Hard Candy Pink Colour Mascara that I had with me ever since like I don't know, 2009 or something, it's been around for a really long time so it's almost dried out by now. If you don't have pink mascara or you don't want to have pink eyebrows, you can just go with like brown I guess. I have with me this, I think it's a lip liner. The brand is called like Elegance. I don't know where you can find it. I think I bought it long 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 ago from some like cheapo shop. And I also have with me another lip liner in a lighter pink shade. The inner parts, I'm going to use the lighter pink. And then I'm going to use Elegance at the back. Next, I am just going to do my eyeshadow. I just want to focus on making the eyes look as big as possible. So I'm just going to keep the shadow kind of simple. And I'm going to go into my um, Too Faced Glitter Bomb palette again. And they have a variety of pink colours here. So I'm just going to 
kind of makes it. For the top lids here, I'll use the colour Fairy Dust. I am going to put double eyelid sticker because it will make my eyes look a little bit bigger, more anime. Put on some more brand, this 3M. Yeah, it definitely makes your eyes look a little bit bigger. Next, I'm going to use this colour called Confetti. Next, I'm going to use this colour called Hot Damn. The bottom eyelid, I am just going to use my same Fenty Beauty in Trophy Wife again. I'm going to contour my face. I have with me here the newest uh, Kat Von D contour, which they just gave to me. It's brand new, I haven't tried it yet. And um, it's actually their famous like contour palette but in cream. So I'm a little bit apprehensive because cream is a little bit more difficult to control than powder. But let's try it because they gave me a special brush to use it with. Mm, okay, la, not bad. Wow, this brush is damn good eh. It's like super dense and stuff. Wow, actually this cream contour is like quite easy to use. I'm gonna do my usual nose contouring. I am going to apply eyeliner. Next is for eyelashes. And I have with me here eyelashes that I got from Taobao that are like ridiculously thick. <laughs> With and without, it's ridiculous. I think if you're trying to do an anime look for Halloween, it's important to choose lashes that are kind of longer in the middle because they have these like really round eyes and you want to have the more round kind of shape. Ah. Don't choose lashes that are just kind of really short in the middle and then really long at the end for that like cat eye look. The bottom lashes is where it gets a little bit more interesting because mostly when people do anime makeup, they always have white eyeliner at the bottom to make your eyes look really really big and then after that apply um, lower eyelashes i'm gonna use dolly wing yeah their lower eyelashes are the best lah so i'm going to draw my uh, lower lash line with a black liner i'm just gonna put a thick lash here add some more So I'm going to put some mascara on my lower eyelashes. So I'm using Tarte in Lights Camera Lashes. Let's do the same for the other side. The last thing I kind of want to do is to add a little like eye bag. That makes you look kind of more cute and innocent. I think the eye bags actually look pretty nice. Like if they are tight and close to your eye. You can tell that this eye actually looks bigger than the other eye because of the eye bags. Next, I am going to apply my blusher and I think I'm just going to use my trusty Candy Doll Neon Pink Blusher which I always use. Chibi Moon has these two dots on her face that looks like that. So I'm going to draw that right now. So I think the only thing left right now is for lips. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Melted Matte in Holy Chic. Actually, this is one of my favourite all-time colours. So it's a really, really pale pink. So I'm just going to put some like foundation or concealer at the side of the lips so that the lips actually appear more narrow, which is more anime. I'm just going to put a spot of darker pink gloss in the middle. So I'm using Urban Decay's Lip Gloss in the colour Savage. Okay, so apparently this colour I think is a little bit too light. So I'm going to try using my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in... Well, I don't even know how to pronounce this country. Addis Abab Ababa. Alright, so I'm done with my makeup. I'm going to start with my fringe now. And what I'm going to do is to just take a, sec a section of fringe. Just kind of roll it with my hands. It's just like rolling a pop yeah. Hey, you're a bad person. I'm talking to my hair, I'm going insane. Okay, I got a cute fringe. It's just that you can see all the bobby pins, but other than that, A for effort. Now to do the two stupid things, oh my god. You know what, I'm not even going to bother to try to do that. I'm just going to try to like do this. Just an antenna. And 
and then I am going to pin it so that it's more in front. This look is ultra childish la, but never mind la. I am like overcompensating for my lost childhood where I never do this when I was younger, so it's alright. So this is how Chibi Moon's hair looks like. Um, all things considered, I think I did not a bad job. Considering that most people who do this look actually use a wig and I just use my own hair and styled it by myself. So I've got my gloves and my choker on and I've completed the look and now I'm just gonna go home with like nowhere to go because it's not Halloween yet. I'll just drive home like that and when the other passengers look at me, I'm just gonna be like Okay, so we've come to the end of the episode. Remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button and I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. See you guys next time. Bye!